And the moment I press this live button, fucking, I hear a million noises out my room. That's great. The planets have yet aligned to fuck me over yet again. But that's okay. I'll just roll with the punches. Hey there, Sly Fox Gamer. How's it going? So, uh, after we just watched that, uh, that PlayStation, um, state of play, I had to take a bit of a break to wrap my head around what was going on. So within that 20 to 30 minutes break, apparently Final Fantasy VII is doing a mobile game that's like kind of a remake of all the Final Fantasy VII stuff. And on top of that, they're also doing a battle royale game for some fucking reason. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> it's, I just don't. I don't understand, man. That's too much for me. I love Final Fantasy VII. I love you, but you went. You're going crazy. You're on some bullshit. Just focus on getting me my remake part two, and we'll call it even. All right. So where we last left off with Sly Cooper two. Or, as known, better yet, Sly 2. They got rid of the Cooper after the first game for some reason. Where we last left off in Sly Cooper, we 100% both episode 1 and 2. Uh, we stole the Clockwork Wings from Rajan. And now, he's kind of on the hunt for us as we need to go and claim the rest of his Clockwork parts. So, let's get on with that. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Sly Cooper and the Gangan. The Predator awakens or wakes or whatever. Thanks for the follow, Sly. Also, um, I'm doing all right today, except for uh, about like 15 minutes ago, I went to use the bathroom and saw that someone so graciously decided to clog the toilet. So, I'm pretty sure within like, uh, maybe an hour or two, I'll hear somebody bitch about that. And that's gonna make my day even better. Uh, let me just check the audio real quick, make sure that the game is not too loud. I think that should be fine. But yeah. Oh shit. There we go. Thanks for the double follow? What was it? Was that the same? Was that the same name? I, could, I didn't see it fast enough to be honest. So, let's see. Sly, what we got? First things first. Uh, ooh. Does Sly not have a? Oh, he does. There it is. Couldn't see it. Is the fucking? Oh, I thought the camera for a moment was like inverted. No, that was someone else who thought. Really? That looked like the same exact name. I couldn't. I couldn't tell I didn't see fast enough. <laughs> well, I apologize. I apologize that I couldn't see it. Alright. Uh, stealth slide. Well, how many... First of all, do I have anything to sell? Yes, I do. Cool. Snooze bomb. Fist of flames. Judgment. A uh, juggernaut throw. <laughs> Imposter. <laughs> Imposter. It's not me. How dare you. Stealth slide. I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Roll through the level silently. Is it the Cooper row? Is it the Cooper roll? Fuck it, it's a slide building. I'm buying it regardless. Oh shit, I don't have enough. Never mind. I gotta steal some stuff. We'll get back for that. It's not the paraglider. 
If it was the paraglider, I would be so happy. Alright. Oh, camera. Do you have anything in your pockets for me? Yes, you do. Come here, big boy. Oh, beautiful. How I love your money. And your money loves me. Can I fuck? Come on. Get closer, Sly. Silver ring? Got it. Now you die. You outlived your usefulness. And so is the way of life. There's a bottle up there. We gotta make sure to collect all those before we leave this level as well. Spire jump. What you got in your pockets? Ooh, gold ring. I'll take that. Thank you very much. All right. Let's not run around and, and steal the whole entire time. Let us head to our objective. If I can get up on the ledge, that would be amazing. Now, where is my objective, actually? Oh, it's right there. Huh. Sink into the temple. Now take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is on I love how Bentley's eyebrows kind of look like Swiss cheese. It's weird. But I like it. There should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. <laughs> that reminds me. Earlier today, I went down the YouTube rabbit hole where, like, uh, you know, sometimes you go on YouTube and right on your homepage is like, do you want to see how street food is made? Wouldn't you love that? And I'm like, yeah, man. I wanna, I'm a fat fuck. I want to know how food is made. I'm going to watch an old man sweat and work tirelessly while he makes... Street vendor food. And then I went down that rabbit hole and they're like, Man, you wanna know how cheese is made? And I was like, Yeah, I wanna know how cheese is made. <laughs> and then it just kept going and going. Somehow I got to I got to videos about like cake pops. Remember those things? Nobody does them anymore because cake pops suck. Alright. Oh shit. You see nothing. I'm a bush. You blind bastard. <laughs> Rajan 3, baby. <laughs> I love Rajan. Does, does Rajan... Alright. Quick question. Does anybody think Rajan reminds them of, like, Aladdin? It does to me. Especially, like, in the flashback. Find entrance into the temple. Am I... Shouldn't there be, like, a... Uh, a waypoint for me? Am I... Am I tweaking? I think I'm tweaking. His favorite game in the series? It's my favorite game in the series, too. I have to say, like, can we all, can we all agree? It's not, it's not a bad game, but can we all agree that Sly 4 is just not the best one? And no, we're not counting Bentley's hacking minigames, because nobody cares. Sly 4 is just pretty average. Where the fuck... Am I... What's going on here? I should have paid attention to what the hell Bentley told me. <laughs> you don't like Sly 4? You can see the line of reference. Yeah, I see it too. Especially when they show him as like a teenager. I might just... I might just have to restart the mission or something because I don't... Find an entrance into the temple. Oh, yeah, okay. It's that. Her doy. Shut up. Ah! Why do you take so many goddamn hits? Give me that. Is it this pass? Is it this over here? Slide two has the best mechanics. <laughs> Slide two is definitely my favorite by far. As for mechanics, they're. <sighs> I guess so? I mean, there's some quality of life stuff that I enjoy in the future games. Well, fuck this guy. I don't even care what, what he does. I can just... Wrong button. Smoke bomb! Wait, no. Smoke bomb! Now I was never there. I'm actually kind of... confused here. Because I didn't pay attention to Bentley. And that's just my fault. <laughs> Abandon the job. Yes. <laughs>
Oops. I'm sorry, Bentley. <laughs> I was too distracted by your by your cheesy eyebrows. Let's try that again. <laughs> let's try that again. This time, let's actually pay attention. I hit that guy for no reason. Alright, let me get to the mission point. Actually, pay attention to what the hell he says this time. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw that, but I just didn't know how to get to how to get to there. Take a hidden passage over the front door any day. All right. I guess I just went like the wrong way. Out of my way, snake. Oh, I just went the wrong way. Well, silly me. Well, let's get in there. We want to speed run the game, but for now, we're in the speed run Donkey Kong Country 2. I can never get into the Donkey Kong Country games. It's the, uh, to me, it's just like, I understand that at the time, the pre-rendered art style was, was a thing that everybody loved. But I can't, I can't get into it. It's just, that's like a barrier for me. Even though I know that they're good platformers. Like, I can appreciate Donkey Kong Country, but it's just the art the art style bothers me too much. Now, with that said, I loved the shit out of, uh, what was it called, Saber, uh, Saber Wolf on the GBA, where you play, like, as an adventurer, and, like, you go through a level, you grab a treasure, and then, like, the wolf chases you through the level. <laughs> I played that. That uses, I think that was made by Rare as well, now that I think about it. It's all nostalgia, and the music is great. I will say that. The music is great for Donkey Kong Country. And I especially love the Smash Brothers remix that they... Remix? Remix. That they be doing. Huh. I'm supposed to be stealthy, but I'm not. Get out of here. He's gonna follow me since I'm not a fan of Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Alright, now what am I taking pictures of for you, Bentley? Am I getting all the way up there? Is that what we're doing? Oh, oh shit. Hold up. Alright. Oh, you got nothing in your pockets for me, so I'll just kill you. Love Mega Man X. Oh man, I love Mega Man X is definitely my favorite version of Mega Man. Second, my second favorite, just for charm alone, and because I'm a sucker for Tron Bon, is uh, is Legends. <laughs> I can't say no to Tron Bon. She's just so adorable. How do you expect me to say no to a face like that and an attitude like that too? She's great. I love her. Man, I'm still sad that we'll never get Legends 3, though, ever. Now, with that said, I do love Mega Man X, but I fucking suck at it. The only X game I don't suck at is X4, which is like, it's almost impossible to suck at X4, because that's the easiest game in the X series. It's so damn easy. <laughs> that game was just made for Zero. Also, his, uh, his voice acting is amazing. And by amazing, I mean hilarious. Maybe X5 first. Yeah. Here we go. Time for a you know, photo. even with, even with, um, even with the X series being my favorite, I will say that my first Mega Man game I've ever played was a, <laughs> for lack of a better term, it was a sin against man because fucking, it was the GBA version of Mega Man in, in a base. And... I know it's not that good of a version of the game, but I love it. I love playing as bass. It was amazing. And that music will stick with me forever throughout the series. Especially uh, Cold Man and Ground Man's theme. Especially Ground Man's theme. I love the mess out of it. 
it sticks in your head. You'll never forget it, ever. But Astro Man's theme sucks. I hate it. I don't like it. It was terrible. Good job, Sly. I appreciate you. Mega Man 4 has the best zero theme. It has the best zero everything. <laughs> Maybe an unpopular opinion. Maybe. I don't know. Meg People haven't talked about Mega Man in so long that uh that at this point at this point all the arguments are just not there anymore. But we can't forget about his amazing voice acting. X, what are you doing? I can't believe you did this, Colonel. Prepare for battle. <laughs> yeah. Or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. Did I say X? I meant to say zero. My bad. <laughs> I just realized that. Also, also, I love Iris, but come on. We didn't know shit about Iris. <laughs> it's like, I guess, I guess zero liked Iris. I'm not sure. <laughs> Did he? Were they a thing? They were a thing, I guess. Also, was X5 the one with the stupid ass doomsday shit? God, I hate that. <laughs> Let's see. Glad you've been searching for your childhood games on here. Yeah. I always try to, you know, appreciate the classics because we'll never get this shit anymore. Apparently, uh,. Apparently platformers just aren't as popular as they used to be, except for the fact that whenever a AAA platformer comes out, it's always like one of the best games ever. <laughs> but I get it though. I get why people don't like these games no more. Even though they're very charming, and they still control well. Like, the, like granted this is the PS3 collection, but this game still controls pretty smooth. And I can't say that for some games that come out nowadays where, like... Like, like no offense, but, uh... No offense to anyone who likes Kingdom Hearts 3, because I fucking sure as hell don't. But, um... <laughs> but, like, compared to how that game controls to, like, something... Like, how Kingdom Hearts 2 controls, which is a fucking PS2 game... It's like... It's night and day. 2 controls way better than 3. And 3's the newer game. How you do that? How do you manage to fuck that up? Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, oh, where the fuck you come from? You see nothing? Just let me through. Alright. Where are we going, Bentley? We're going up there? Is there like a... I gotta go the long way? Fuck me. Can't stand Nintendo anymore. But there's new there's no new IPO. Yeah. I'm tired of all the games being really How did he not see me? What? Alright, what the fuck? I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> I believe it. I understand that people don't like Nintendo no more. There's some games that I still that I'll still like uh like I my whole entire life, uh like, I'm not gonna shit on anybody who likes Xbox because it's not all that bad, right? Like, it's personal preference and stuff, but for me, for the most part, I've always played PlayStation and Nintendo. And if I wanted to play an Xbox game, someone else would have it already, and I would just play that. Um, and there's not really that many Xbox exclusives that I'm into, but, um, Nintendo, there are some, uh, I still stick around with Nintendo. I hate how they just refuse to change their ways most of the goddamn time. But I mean, like, I can't lie, Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem was a good-ass game, right? Three Houses was amazing, I liked it. I still love Xenoblade. We still play Super Nintendo, but not New Nintendo. Yeah. I get it. Like, Xeno... Like, I played uh, Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2. Uh, which I guess you can still say is technically old Nintendo, because it's just like a remaster. Um, Mario Odyssey was great. I like that. 
I recently bought Star Fox Zero, so at some point I'll play that on my Wii U and see how I like that, but, you know, they come in strides, sometimes they completely fuck it up, but for the most part, for the most part, their games still have quality to them, it's just that their business practices kind of piss me off most of the time, especially the fact that they don't want to, um, they never want to lower the prices on anything, for some reason. Oh, shit. Why did I throw that? I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. I panicked. Run, Bentley. Blow them up. You just slid straight into that. Wow. Okay. Now, what are we doing, Bentley? Are we stealing shit? What are we doing? Taking recon photos? Oh, curious what chat friendly means in my title. It just means, like, if you want to come and talk, I'll talk. That's just what it means. Like, if people want to come and lurk, they can do that, too. I'm not going to, like, first... In, uh, first? Wow. I'm not going to force anybody to do that. That's all it means. Like, I know... Like, I know, um... It's also just to, like, point out that, like, hey, I'm not going to turn the stream on and just be quiet the whole time. If I am quiet, it's probably because of a cutscene or something. Or either I forgot to unmute my microphone or something like that. <laughs> Alright. Get that guy out of here. I don't know what he's doing. Now, Bentley, what are we doing here? How do I interact with this shit again? Am I... Am I bugging these? Is that, is that what I'm doing? What is this? You're luring Rajan to the water. Wait. Where's Rajan? Oh, I remember now. Okay. Shit. See, this is what happens. The cut the cutscene plays, they tell me what to do, and then I uh Rajan's over there. Okay, yeah. And then I fucking um <laughs> I read the chat and I don't hear what they say to me. Wait, no, not Rajan's not over there. Where the fuck are you, Rajan? Oh. He's the green... No, he's not the green dot. Where are you? He is the green dot, because he's moving. <laughs> there he is. I'm surprised... I'm surprised he didn't catch me with all my fuckery. Rajan, this way. Come on, tiger boy. Oh, wait. Depth of field perception. Okay. I didn't see how far away he was from me. Never mind. I gotta get him to eat the watermelon so he sleeps, right? That's what I'm doing. There you go, buddy. Keep going. Too far away. Keep going. I need a better line of sight. Keep going. I want you to go all the way up there. Cool. I should bring them to this watermelon, but I'm already doing that one. Let me see. <laughs> Define the game right now. You gotta steal the plan. Oh! See, that's what happens. I look at the chat, and then he starts. He starts coming after me. Where you at, Rajan? Where'd you go? This way, big boy. You sexy hunk of tiger. Don't get too close to me now. Yeah, go to sleep. Eats the watermelon, gets attacked by gets attacked by the itis. He's like, man. Just need that elephant to go past. Elephant's on its Aladdin shit. How do I there we go, circle. The elephant's on its Aladdin shit. He's like, Prince Ali, fabulously, Ali of Strong as ten regular men, as you can see. He faced the galloping hordes. A hundred bad guys with swords. <laughs> Such a good song. R.I.P. Fucking. Uh. The Robert Williams. Couldn't remember his name for a moment.
Go! You're not that dense, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I need a better viewpoint. Alright. You go back there, because I need you to get up there. And you... I gotta see you to sleep. Or something. There you go. Now how do I get up there again? It's kind of difficult with Bentley because he can't spire jump or nothing. There's got to be like a... Like a cat. I got to go the long way around. God damn it. You know, if that's the, if that's the case, then I got to bring him over here then. You go to sleep. I'm tired of you. You know what? I need you out of my way. So I'm just going to do that. Rajan, you can jump up here, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You fucking hunk of man. You're sweet. Tiger, you. Now go down there. Now go... I don't think you'll be able to hear that. Oh no, you will. You're good. <gasps> that monkey's gonna see me. Go get that watermelon. You know you want it. Sexy demon. You're right next to it. Go eat it. Don't you run away from that. There you go. Rajan's basically a drug lord, but they can't say that, kids. Yeah, he runs spices. He's like, yes, it's, uh, spice. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. We're not gonna question why... Why a grown-ass man is making little girls in his basement. There you go. You see nothing, Rajan. Don't turn around, please. I need you to get back over there, somewhere, somehow. Why I go this way? Oh, well, I need you out of my way. I need you to go up. There you go. Now, while he does that, I'm gonna... Motherfucker. I gotta wait for this guy to pass, because I can't make him go to sleep. Because I'll bring Rajan to him. There we go. I just need a good viewpoint. <laughs> He's just lonely, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, he is kind of... Well... Well, I, I can't believe I actually fucking know this shit. Because I saw, I saw it while I was passing the living room once and the children were watching the new Powerpuff Girls. But apparently, Pro uh, Professor Utonium fucking... That's not the only time he fucked up and, and made little girls. <laughs> he tried so many other times. And apparently he made one before them named Bliss or whatever. She's black. And I'm like, that's cool, I guess. Except for the fact that she's older and she looks like a fucking mutant. I mean, they all look like mutants. They are mutants. But, like... Rajan, where the fuck are you? But, like... No one ever wanted to see what a Powerpuff Girl looks like when they grew up. <laughs> it looks gross! Go get that watermelon. You know you want it. Just spouting whatever. Don't really know the lore. I don't really know the lore either. It's just that I just remember walking past the living room. Children watching the show. Because the new Powerpuff Girls just... Ugh, it's bad. <laughs> but like... He's sitting there talking about how he fucked up... In his like previous adventures... With the uh, Chemical X. Apparently he spilled it like over 20 times on different other projects. I love how the goat man is just sitting there. He's like, are we buddies now? Are we friends? <laughs> Alright. 
Good job, Bentley. I know you can do it. All right, and all we got is slide missions left. Nice. Gotta run my little dinky self over there. Can't believe I'm about to say what I'm gonna say, but Bentley, I can't wait for your legs to get crushed, man. <laughs> you become way better in the other games. I can't wait for you to end up in that wheelchair. Bentley pulls the old, uh, <laughs> the old, um, Jedi move of if you strike me down, I'll come back more powerful than you can imagine. If you strike me down. <laughs> and his, like, nerdy voice. I wish I can do that impression, like, good. I would love to. Alright. I can make it. <laughs> No! I'm a turtle who can't swim! Alright. <laughs> now... Where's the hideout? Hideouts... Where's the hideout? Is the hideout this way, right? Yeah, there it is. It's the skull. Got it. <laughs> I was confused for a moment. Just gotta jump on some mushrooms. Shut up. Sometimes I like to watch destruction. I love it. It's my pastime. Alright, Sly. Look at this. Look at Sly. Look how shifty he is. Actually, you know what? While I'm here... What we got, Bentley? What we got, like, what, the three things that slide still? Two things? Self slide. Alright. Get out there, Sly. Wrong button. Wrong button. Alright. Oh, it's the, uh, okay. I don't know why they say roll around, but it's the other thing. Get rid of the dive move, because I don't care about that. And the confusion move. Yeah, it's this thing. I forgot about that. Just turned this whole entire game into jet set radio. <laughs> Alright. Hop on down, Sly. There we go. Is able to monitor all gotta get up for a new job. Oh, don't worry, man. If you gotta peace out, then peace out. I'm just happy that you decided to come and hang out. It was nice talking to you, though. Do what you gotta do, man. Don't stay up on my account. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh wait, wait! I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He said, "Don't give Murray drugs. He will beat the shit out of all of us." Got it, Bentley. I paid attention this time. Alright, so how am I... Getting up there? Am I just doing it from our hideout? Oh, you got something in your pockets. Give me that. Ooh, bronze pin. Oh, well, it's bronze, so it's not going to be worth that much. But thank you anyways. Alright. Oh, I gotta go higher up. Okay. Uh, this way. All right. Don't see me, elephant. Oh, a bottle. Thank you. Thanks for the lift, buddy. Oh, let me just go up here like this. There we go. Got 
Got it. Spice plant. Nice. We have one more over there and another one over there. So, which way would be the fastest route? What? Why'd you jump all the way down here, Sly? You had a perfectly good spot up there. You son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Sly, what are you doing? What's going on? Why are you messing up? Ow. Smoke bomb. Ow. I hate you, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. You see nothing. Alright, well that completely fucked up my whole run. There you go. Oh, come on, Sly. There you go, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, he lost sight of me. He won't find me. Now, it's this way. Good job, Sly. Spice plant. Loving it. There's one over there, one over there. Is there another one near me? Yes, there is. It's up there. Slide down, grab this bottle. Grab this bottle. All right. That one wasn't too bad. And now it's all the way over there. Well, I want that bottle since we're close to it. Might as well grab it. Oh, there's a bottle over here too. And a treasure. But we don't have time to do that. Not only that we don't have time to do that, we can't do it because we can't return back to base until we complete the mission. How will I get up there. I'll just... I'll be able to reach that, right? Just with a regular... Yep. Cool. Alright. One, two, three. Can I make that jump over there? There we go. There's no way to get over that. Alright, guess I'm going the long way then. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, my slide didn't work. since it's there. Where's the one I was after? Was it that one? over there. Where's the third one at? I could have sworn it was like further this way. Oh no, it's right there. Okay. Wait. Is it in that tree or is it past that? It is in the tree. 
It just, it just didn't load from this draw distance. Okay. That's why I was confused. Can I just jump up there on that mushroom? I don't, I don't think it would take me that high. Eh. Oh well. It's worth the shot. Nice job, Sly. Moving on. That one should be pretty easy to get to. A lot of these guys don't even have any goods in their pockets. That's the sad part about all this. So much death and destruction with little reward. Did I pass these up on my first time coming up here? I think I did. Huh. Everything's going full circle. Alright. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Tired of you hissing at me. Wait, what? I'm... Someone saw me? tree is it in? The marker's not even appearing no more. What the hell? There we go. Oh, shit. He, Sly? What are you doing? Jump up on the thing. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, wow. I could have got that when I was up there earlier. That's a stupid move. How do I get up to that again? Oh, I just climb up it. Oh, beautiful no fall damage. How I love you. Can jump from any height, and you won't kill me for it. Every platformer should have that. Here's the last one. I love how Sly just doesn't look so sure about himself. He's all like, he's like, Bentley, you sure we should be picking up this, this dank shit growing out in this forest? You sure I won't get high off of this? Maybe I do want to get high. Look at his fucking face. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I want to get high. Maybe when Bentley's not looking, I'll just have a little bit. Nobody will know. It won't jeopardize the plan. Alright, so I'm just taking him back to the hideout. Is that the plan, Bentley? Wait, what? What am I doing? Oh. Oh, I'm getting them ready for, uh, for Murray, right? There we go. Sayonara, satellite array. Just remember, kids, it's not drugs. It's spices. Some some real good shit in there. Good job, Sly. I love the fucking faces Sly makes in this game. He's always like second guessing himself. It's like twitchy as fuck, too. He acts more like a chihuahua than a... <laughs> than a... than a raccoon sometimes. Oh shit. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Smoke bomb. I'm a king of stealth. Alright, I 
want that bottle. Where is the, uh... Oh, there it is. I gotta climb back up here again, don't I? Oh, shit. Oh, you saw nothing! He saw everything. Don't hit me. Is he throwing shit at me? What are you throwing at me? All right. If I had a if I had a paraglider, this would be way easier. I can't make this jump. Is the only way up there through the long way? Let's see. Uh, I think the only way up there is the long way, which I don't want to do. <laughs> but I guess I have to do. I have no choice. How come nobody has anything good in their pockets? I just want to get rich. Is that so much to ask? You saw nothing. Ah, the button didn't work. Oh, I don't have any special. That's why. You saw everything. I'm exposed. Jump on the mushroom, Sly. What the hell are you doing? Oh, the elephant left. Are you kidding me? Can I make this? Nope. Will I even be able to get on top of that elephant? How the fuck? There's gotta be another way to get there, right? This can't be the only way. That guy is so gonna see me. Do I just wait for the elephant to like prance on back? Oh shit. I'm really- oh god, I'm really fucking this up. Alright. Hold up. Get your composure. I gotta go the real long way, don't I? Oh god. Alright. Shit. That's okay, Sly. I'll play your game. There you go. How do I get my meter back? Is it by stealing? Hmm. Don't remember. This is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like an easier way to do this. But this is the way I'm doing it. Where's the other one? Don't fuck it up, Sly. Cause sometimes you just like to go past the... past the thing I wanna jump on. There we go. Now let me look around and find out what the easier way was. Cause there has to be one. Mm-hmm. Yes, I see. Yes, I see. That was the easy way. Right there. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid.
Its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy. Sly, that- wait, did he just take his hat off? What the hell is that about? <laughs> Looks like there's a few pools along He's like, Sly, that water bug will only survive in shallow water. Give it too much water and it will die. Then why do we call it a water bug? Why not just call it a shallow bug? Alright. So where am I taking you, buddy? Going all the way over there? That's cool. Oh, wait a minute. I have to break it to pools of water so it doesn't die. I forgot. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Get in the water, damn it. I got you, buddy. Oh, bronze ring. You suck. You're useless to me. Wait. What the hell is that? Alright, where's the next uh, pool of water? Where is that? Huh. Is it... Is it on the ground? I gotta bring it over there. I mean, I guess I can just make a break for it, right? Come on, buddy, let's go! It's okay, water bug. We'll make it. I'll find some place for you. You just... You just calm yourself. Damn it. <laughs> Oopsie. Hey, I never said I was perfect. I'm just doing my best here. Where's the other pond for that motherfucker? I know there's one down there. I guess it's just like... The other way around. Wait, is that a pond right there? Or... Nope, that's just a pedestal. Can you not, Sly? Water. Alright. Where is the... Oh. I guess I'll have like a little... I'll do a little recon, so I can find the other puddle of water that I throw him into. Is it... over here? Shh, you shut up. You came back up?! Oh god, oh no, I alerted everyone to my presence. That's not good. Smoke bomb! Where's the other pond for you? Is it not over here? What the hell? Hmm. Oh, hey, shark. How's it going? Um... Where the hell is the other pond for this goddamn bug? Like, he's over there. Right? And where do I even have to bring him? I have to bring him... Up there, where the fuck? Where is the other pond for this guy? I can't find one. Oh, there they are. Okay. Alright, I see. And that's one over there too, right? Yep. Gotcha. Oh, look at that. Can't believe I dodged that shit so well. Don't you call your homeboys. I don't need you doing that. Ah! Oh 
my god. The whole entire jungle knows I'm here. Stop calling for backup. Let's see. Had a riveting evening waiting for your hair to dry before falling asleep. Yeah. That was me yesterday. Sometimes I just fall asleep with wet hair even though I shouldn't. But I got a lot of hair on my head. I can afford to lose a, lose a few. Oh shit. How do I... Oh. Didn't see the bridge there. Alright, I get it, Waterbug. Shut up. Ow. That wasn't the smartest move for me to do. Now where's the... Oh, there's the other pool for you. Get your fill. Start sucking on that water. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Alright. That was fun. I like that. There you go. Get my health back. Alright. Now where am I taking you? I'm taking you up there. So I gotta... I really gotta speed my way through this. Okay. I'll take the shortcut. Don't mind me. There you go. Let's see. Uh, where? Up there. Let's do a little bit of recon first so I know how I'm getting up there. Oh. Well, that's just that. Had a bunch of random time off work, so you've been trying to figure out what to do with yourself. Eh, I was trying to build up a skill, like drawing or something, if you ever wanted to do that. Feel like you played this a long time ago? I mean, it is an old PS2 game. I remember, uh, I actually didn't play this game until the, uh, until the HD collection came out on the PS3. Because, um... I remember, uh, I remember the PS3 being out. And for the longest time, they would always play the Slide 2 commercial. And even when the PS3 came out, they just still kept playing that commercial. And I never bought it. Because I was too busy playing the other PlayStation mascot games like Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. PS2 is one of your favorite consoles. Still my favorite, too. Like, uh, recently, I went to, um... I went to a good old mom and pop shop and I saw that they had one of the first games I ever played on PlayStation 2 in there. <laughs> and that was um it was a game well, I would say it was a game of a of a old show from the nineties, of an old anime from like the nineties, but they I believe the beginning of last year or maybe this year, they kind of rebooted it and it was called uh it was an anime called Orphan. <laughs> and on the PS2, there is a, uh, I believe when the PS2 was launching, they released a, um, an orphan game. Like Orphan, uh, Society of Sorcery or something like that. I just remember turning it on and the first thing that happened was like a little kid is just cursing me out. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and an orphan's just this cool 90s badass in like leather and biker outfits and shit. Meanwhile, everyone else dresses up like they're a peasant in the fucking... Medieval era, like Nintendo DS was good too. One of the uh, one of the hidden gems on the Nintendo DS was uh, Elite Beat Agents. It was a rhythm game. I loved it so much. I think uh, I think Smash Brothers references Elite Beat Agents. I think they're uh, one of the spirits inside Smash Brothers Ultimate. Like the stickers and shit. Another DS game that I never got to play. Well, not DS, but 3DS game. It was like a launch title, I think, or something. Was a uh, 
Rhythm Thief? I never got to play that. I always wanted to. I remember playing the demo of that. Oops, didn't mean to choose Bentley. I meant to go to Thiefnet. Like, I'm still I'm still holding off on like streaming 3DS games because just in case, you know, I'm giving it like a couple of more weeks, just in case Nintendo says, alright, here's the real stuff for Zelda now. I'm still holding on to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, just looking at it. I'm like, I can just start doing it at any time that I want. Just, you force my hand. Still collecting games? I have 10 plus year old games. Yeah, um, there's a, there's a moment in my life. I like to call it the great tragedy in which, um, in which I went to one of my friend's house and, you know, I'm the type of person that's like, I have a lot of expensive technology and games in my room, so no one in my room when I'm gone. Went to my friend's house and I had like this big collection of PS2 games. I had so many goddamn PS2 games because those things were cheap. But, um, went to my friend's house, came home one day and uh, not came home one day, came home later that day, and for some reason, I saw my sister, her friend, and two of her friends, uh, like, I guess little brothers or something, but at the time, they were like children, like fucking four and five or something, and they were just sitting in my room, and all my game discs were open, and all the discs were on the floor, getting scratched up and shit, and I just went, are you kidding me? And they're just sitting there on my bed talking while like these two children are ruining my fucking legacy. And they're just acting like it's normal. And I'm just like, I'm losing my goddamn mind. Best believe no one was happy that night. I made hell in that house. And I'm never gonna get that shit back ever. Along with that were some of my favorite games that I loved. Uh, the first Ratchet and Clank. That got fucked up to all hell. So I wouldn't be able to play that game again until the Ratchet and Clank, um... <coughs> the Ratchet and Clank HD collection on the PS3. Uh... I was so sad because I really liked the first Ratchet and Clank. That one's like really, really close to me. I like that game so fucking much. Um... San Andreas got fucked up in that. Uh, my original game of Orphan got fucked up so bad, but for some reason, Orphan, my first PS2 game, got fucked up so bad, but for some reason, I still have the disc, and it's so scratched up, but if I were to put it in a PS2, it actually still works, like, no problem. The only reason I bought it again was so that I can have a better version of the game. That's not fucked up to hell. Would either beat their ass or cried. Oh man, I was ready to beat their ass <laughs> so bad. Um, so there was that. Uh, oh shit, what are we doing? Tower defense. There was that. There was a. Uh, there was Naruto Ultimate Ninja one and and two that got fucked up. Three survived the best one, so I was happy about that. But Uzumaki Chronicles 1 survived, but Uzumaki Chronicles 2 died. And that sucked, because Uzumaki Chronicles 2 was the one that fucking had, um... That had co-op, and it had, like, this big, like, campaign and shit. And you can play as One Tails Naruto, and it was so good. You can play as Shikamaru, Lee, uh, Sasuke. I think you could play as, um, Neji in that as well. And it had, like, a battle mode in it, too. So if you did a bunch of shit in the game, you would unlock Atachi back before anyone knew who the fuck Atachi was. And Kasame too, you can play as Might and Kakashi. It was fucking, it was fun as shit. Uzumaki Chronicles 2 is a good ass game. I wish they continued that series. That game was so fucking good, I loved it so goddamn much. And that thing was just destroyed. Uh trying to remember what other games got destroyed. Oh, everything that was Jack and Daxter got destroyed. <laughs> I 
I'm sitting here shooting the helicopters. Why am I shooting the helicopters? I'm supposed to be shooting the wall. There's too many goddamn helicopters. I'm gonna fail this. So many goddamn helicopters. Stop it. trying to focus I can't I can't remember what other games were destroy right off the top of my head now I'm really trying to not die here these missiles are going way too goddamn fast oh my god stop it stop shooting at me I think only the twirly ones I have to worry about nope the straight ones I gotta worry about to okay all right calm down helicopter he sent the whole barrage of missiles after me just get the wall. Just get the wall. Stop it! Stop! Oh, come on, wall. Just go down. Go down like it was Berlin, motherfucker. Listen, I don't know about you, but nothing bad ever happens in Bossy Say. Oh, shit. There we go. Also, how do the kids destroy so many games? I don't know, dude. Fucking, they just sat there and let them do it. And they just thought it was normal. And when I fucking flipped on them, they didn't understand why I was so mad. And it's like, and it's not even like, hey, man, I had a lot of PS2 games. It's like, no. I had, like, imagine, like, the big plastic, like, bins you would put stuff in when, like, you're moving houses. I had, like, two of those filled to the brim of PS2 games. It was such a big collection. It was so goddamn big. And 75% of that, gone. Dead. Like... I know, uh, I know the Billy and Mandy game survived, uh... There was like a Billy and Mandy, like, kind of, not Smash clone, but it was like a fighter game. It was good. I liked it. Uh, Crash, oh, Crash Twin Sanity fucking died. <laughs> Crash Twin Sanity died, fucking, and, and Crash 4 died, but nobody cares about Crash 4, though. Wrath of Cortex fucking sucks. <laughs> that can just, I, I didn't care about that. I was like, I was like, good, I'm happy you died. <laughs> This time I don't have to kill you myself. This time I don't have to kill you and put a napkin over my head so God doesn't see my sin. I gotta switch over the sly, right? Is this the right way? Yes, this is the right way. Here we go. Huh. See? Been trying to remember the PS2 Naruto game that you played at a friend's house. Haven't been able to remember it. Was it the Uzumaki Chronicles? Because I know Ultimate Ninja... Like, and that was before Ultimate Ninja Storm, because when Storm got announced, that was pretty... That was pretty exciting. Especially Storm 2, and they had the demo, and you fucking fought Kakashi, and you're like, God damn it, this is so good! Now Naruto games fucking suck! <laughs> now they all suck. Speaking about that, apparently they recently announced, like, a Demon Slayer game, and fucking, um... It's straight up just the Naruto Storm games, just with Demon Slayer characters, and I'm like, really? Guys, do something different. I can't believe CyberConnect was almost the people who made Final Fantasy VII Remake. I would have been so mad. <laughs> I'm happy they got kicked off the project. Uh, one of the games that survived that massacre was um, a game... <sighs> I would say it's a niche game, but I guess, uh, recently some people started streaming it, so it got a little bit more popular. It was, um, it was Neopets The Darkest Fairy, and that fucking survived that massacre, and I love that game. Like, I'll never forget, like, looking up a review of that game, and it said, like, 2 out of 10, and I went, How dare you? This game's not that bad. What the fuck, man? Yeah, it has some problems. It's not that bad. And then, uh... Like, a couple of years ago, I looked for the reviews again, and it went from 2 out of 10 to 7 out of 10. I was like, there you go. 
There you go. That's a good game. <laughs> Don't you sleep on that game. That game is good. I love Neopets. Hey, Neela. How's it going? Constable Neela. Thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. I should be thanking you. Oh, fucking, uh, there was a, um... Nickelodeon's The Barnyard. That game's kind of that game's kind of fun too. That one died. Oh man, that one died. Chicken Little and like Jimmy Neutron died. <laughs> Pac-Man World One died. There were some there were some nice little sweethearts in there. So many games. It was a massacre, and no one understood why I was so pissed. A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind. No one still understands me and my family ever. I don't get it, man. What's so What's so fun about playing games? I don't know, man. What's so fun about watching Shameless? It's a shitty show. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, I went there. Shameless sucks. It's boring as shit. It's predictable, too. Come up with some good story writing. How about that? Couldn't get into Shameless? Me neither. It's so goddamn boring. <laughs> people are like, it's so good. Like, the people who tell me that's good are the same people who really enjoyed Degrassi. And I was like, really? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Like, any show that has characters just, like, starting problems for absolutely no reason and only to get very little gain from it, it's not, it's not entertaining. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather sit here and play the game about the raccoon being chased by the fox lady, because at least they're doing some shit. People used to front on me for watching Naruto. I used to get make fun of. And now I'm the person telling everyone Naruto sucks because it does now. And those are the people who are telling me it's good. Remember when remember when people make fun of you for playing a kid's game, Pokemon? And now everybody loves it? And they've been fans of it for the whole time? You just never noticed? No, Neela, that was really unnecessary to jump over that. You could have just, like, gone around. There we go. Naruto's good, but bad. Naruto's good. Here's how Naruto is to me. Naruto is like Dragon Ball to me, right? Naruto is good. Original Naruto is the best Naruto. It's good until... Until, you know, Sasuke and Naruto have their fight and they go their separate ways. Then it dies. Everything after that, don't care, don't matter, right? Then Shippuden starts, and that's, it's good in the beginning. It gets a little meh in the middle, and then the pain arc happens, and you're like, oh yeah, that's my shit, and then the pain arc ends, and then that's it. Nothing happened after that. It doesn't exist. Who cares? And then that's the end of Naruto. The, the fucking village was destroyed, and they never fixed it. The end. Nothing else happened after that. Hinata didn't marry him. Neji's still alive. You know. Everyone came back to life. It was happy. Except for Jiraiya. Oh yeah, Tsunade's still in her coma. You thought Boruto was a joke? Dude, the moment I saw Boruto, I started fucking losing it. I was like, no, just let it die. Just let it die. Even Bleach had the grace to, like, give up and die. And Bleach is terrible, but at least it's fun, right? At least it knows it's terrible. But, like, God. Like, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I say this every time I talk about Naruto, but, like... <laughs> every time I talk about Naruto, it's, um... It's... 
episode one to two of Naruto, Aruka Sensei almost dying, going, Naruto, it doesn't matter about your bloodline or innate abilities or natural talent. All that matters is if you have a dream and you work very hard to achieve it. And then the only character who ever does that in the series, which is Rock Lee, loses every goddamn fight that he's ever been in. Literally the only character who does that then in the tuning exams Neji shows up and he's all like Naruto It's all about your family bloodline. This is why I'm better than you Naruto's like no and he beats him and then you get to the end of Shippuden and he's all like Everyone's all like Naruto your bloodline you were the descendant of Azura the son of the one who created all chakra And here's you're also the son of the fourth Hokage. Here's your your Uzumaki bloodline is strong Right you only ever cared about Kakashi? Exactly. <laughs> like, there are two badass moments in Naruto that I'll never forget. It's moment one, where, uh... Where, like, you know... Itachi rolls into town, kicks everyone's ass, that's cool or whatever, but it's when Naruto wakes up, hears a knock at the door, and Jiraiya's like... Well, he's like, are we gonna train today, Jiraiya? And he opens the door, and it's just Itachi just sitting right there just standing there looking at him and he's all like what <laughs> like he doesn't know what's going on he's like what the fuck is this <laughs> <coughs> and then Atashi's just there without any warning that's cool and then it's when uh the other one is when Atachi catches Sasuke ties him up to the tree and he's all he's just telling them to calm down and then Sasuke's like, what happened if I killed everyone that you loved and care about? And then Itachi goes like, well, that wouldn't happen because you're already too late. And then Sasuke's just sitting there like shitting himself going like, what? <laughs> He's like, I didn't expect that. Like, and he says it with, like, the biggest smile ever, even though you can't see through his mask. He's all like, you're already too late. Everyone I care about is already dead. It's like, damn. And then you got Shippuden, and that's all like, what about, what about Itachi's friend? Let's talk about him. And everyone's like, he's a badass, but he died like a bitch. <laughs> what the hell? What am I doing here? Oh, I'm going under there. Okay. Hmm. Gotta watch more anime. It's always so crazy. Yeah, I gotta get back into anime, too. It's hard. <clears throat> but also about, like, One Piece, like... Like, that, uh... <clears throat> that did end because they were doing, like, the time skip or whatever. Like, I don't know too much about One Piece because everything... Everything after that time skip, I don't know nothing about. i am be honest. Don't know nothing about that. I barely even know anything's before that. I just know, like... The first couple of big things that happen like Arlong and Crocodile and all that shit. And then, you know, things here and there, like when they fought the world government and stuff like that, with like, uh, what's his name, Lushi, the fucking cheetah guy. And then, um, and then everything that happens at Imperial Down, <laughs> where Ace dies. Right? And the only reason I remember, I'm talking about a lot of spoilers here. The only reason that I remember about uh, everything that happens in Imperial Down is because um, the way it happens is that, you know, pirates come in, they're going in war with the government and stuff like that. And then one badass shows up and they go, all right, the fight's over. Right? And then before the fight's over, like, one of the big players gets killed. His name's Whitebeard. He gets killed, right? And while everyone's, like, while everyone's peacing out, <laughs> you will not be watching One Piece. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I find it entertaining that it's able to stick around for as long as it did. And, honestly, one like, I gotta give it up to One Piece. It's still pretty fucking interesting whenever I look at it. Like, yeah, of course, there's some, like, filler episodes and stuff. That's, that's, like, uh, that's, like, gonna happen with almost any anime. But, um, but, like, all the main arcs and shit, like, the main stuff that goes on, it's all still interesting. 
Like, it's just a world that they keep building up on. Uh, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, I gotta blow up the things. Okay, I forgot. My bad. Should have listened to Bentley. Here we go. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> so Whitebeard dies, and he dies like a badass. He dies standing up, right? And everyone's sad about it because, like, oh my god, it's Whitebeard. We thought he was gonna be the next Pirate King. Because he's just, his power is to literally just shake the fucking earth. And not like an earthquake type of way, like literally grab the air in front of him and just rip it apart. <laughs> and just flip the whole world upside down if he wanted to. If he just kept going and didn't stop, the world would be destroyed. But he's a good guy. Um. So he dies, right? And then, where the hell am I? How am I getting past that? So he dies, and, uh... Ace, one of the cool characters that everyone likes because he's so goddamn cool. Uh... He sees Whitebeard dies, and Whitebeard's like, even though, like, as he's dying, he's like, Go, my children, go and live on, and all this other bullshit. So, they're leaving, and when, uh... You know, when the badass shows up, and he's like, Alright, the fight's over, everyone! Right? I keep getting fucked up by these lasers. Um, <laughs> like as Ace and company are walking away and leaving, one of the one of the big bads in the Navy or whatever or the Marines that works for the government. His name is Akainu, right? He looks he looks kind of like John Cena a little bit. Not gonna lie, but he's like super fucking tall. Um, he just kind of, like, not verbatim, I'm paraphrasing here, but he basically just goes, like, as Ace is walking away, he basically just goes, Yo, Whitebeard's a bitch! <laughs> and then Ace stops, and he turns around, he goes, What did you say? <laughs> and everyone's like, Nah, Ace, let it be, man, just go! <laughs> You're gonna die! And he's like, Nah, 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 hold up a second. He just called my father a bitch. Like, Whitebeard's not even his father, but, you know, his father figure. But he's like, you just call my dad a bitch. <laughs> so Ace turns around, you know, and they start fighting. And, of course, Ace dies. And everyone's like, come on, man! And it's like, you know, a sad death because Ace is like Luffy's... You know, they're all orphans, but Ace is like Luffy's big brother. And fucking, it's supposed to be sad, but as I'm watching it, I'm like, Ace literally died for no reason. He could have just walked away. <laughs> it's like, you could have just walked away, my guy. Also, Ace was cool because his ability was like, there's three different, not three different. There's like two different forms of abilities for like devil fruits, I guess. There's something like Luffy has his rubber arm shit. And that's like a... Uh, that, you know, that's like a physical thing, and then Ace has sh shit where, like, he can manifest into fire and stuff, and that's called, like, a Lokia, or whatever the fuck. So, instead of, like, just getting a physical buff or something like that, he can just, ma he can just, like, disperse into fire if he wanted to. Right? But Akainu had the power of lava, and lava is stronger than fire. <laughs> so he got fucked up. It was like, it was really, it was really kind of, it was sad, but at the same time, it's like, Ace, you literally just died for no reason, man. And you know, I felt some type of way too, because I was like, come on, that's Ace, he had the fire ability. It was my favorite. I loved it. So instead of Ace becoming leader of the White Beers, it's like this dude named Marco, and he's like, and he has like, he has kind of a fire ability too, but it's not like, it's not like pure fire like Ace. He has like this thing called the Phoenix Fruit or some bullshit. So he has like Phoenix Fire. It's like magical fire, I guess, but not like fire fire. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, his fire looks cooler though. It's like fucking, it's like blue and yellow. It's very colorful. But like it was but it's pretty much pointed out that like Ace was stronger than him. Like he's the second best to Ace. 
my ace just straight up died. And it's like, oh man. Like, come on, ace, what the hell? Am I going the right way? What the hell am I supposed to be doing here? Destroy the spice. Oh! Yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, 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 I got you. I forgot. I'm sitting here talking about One Piece and bullshit. How the fuck do I get back up there? Oh, I think I gotta go all the way around again. Oops. Here we go. There we go. I gotta destroy this thing, right? I guess I'll kill you while I'm at it. How you not see me? You literally shined your flashlight on me. Uh-oh. You see nothing? Ah! Oh, here's how I get back up here. So you thought you got rid of me. You'll never get rid of me. Alright, I gotta destroy this thing, right? Oh, the TNT. Gotcha, Bentley. Alright, Bentley. I got you. I hear you, man. Thanks for helping me, buddy. Wait, how the fuck am I supposed to get the TNT barrel all the way over here? Can I even... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I can. Alright. I gotta kill these motherfuckers. Get them out of my way. Oh, come on, man. Turn around. Oh, shit. That's some big motherfuckers. Oh, he heard me. Yep, he heard me. You see nothing. This is the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> Look at Sly's face. He knows what he's doing. Alright. There we go. Good job, Sly. I knew you can do it, my buddy. Just gotta slowly creep my way over here. Alright. Just gotta make sure I don't fuck up the timing on that. Excuse me? Huh? What? How'd I mess that up? Is that not how I'm supposed to do that? Try it again. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it again, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be really upset. I'm gonna start crying. That's what's gonna happen. I'm supposed to use the barrel to destroy that, right? Is there something down here I gotta... Oh shit! 
Oh wait, that's not a barrel I can hide in. Let me get rid of this guy so I don't have to deal with his bullshit later. There we go. Yeah, but Bentley, what the hell? Isn't that how I'm supposed to be doing that? I could have sworn I'm supposed to, like, walk all the way up here with the barrel and blow it up. That's what I remember, anyways. wrong? If it doesn't work this time, I'm just gonna fucking look it up, cause what the hell? Maybe I'm supposed to be a little closer than what I was? Wait, am I in the what? Good job, Sly. Best thief ever. Now I gotta do it all over again. Oh my god. What the hell? Let me look this shit up. I'm actually really confused why that didn't work. Uh, Where is it? Spice grinder. Here it is. How do I blow that shit up? Okay. You walk up to it with the barrel. Yeah, I did that. That's goofy. <laughs> I just saw how to do it. That's goofy. So, you gotta walk into the molten lava with the barrel and then jump out while you're in the molten lava. I call it lava, but you know what I mean. Like, what the hell? You know what? I don't even think... You know what? Now that I think about it, it's not even, uh... It's not even... Like, it looks like it's like, um... Like, you know, like molten... Like molten shit. Fire, whatever the hell you want to call it. But it's just spice. That's what it is. It's just spice. Oh, come on, Sly. You got stuck on the wall. What the hell? Slide on through. Yeah, but I guess I was doing it wrong. But I mean, like, it was next to the grinder. It should have blew up. I won't blame the game on it. I'll blame it on my own goofiness. I'll take the L for that. Oh, I gotta blow this up twice. Damn it. Go, Sly. Yeah. Now you just sit here and you take your time and you just wait for them to pass. That's okay. They'll never notice a thing. Ever. Right. Now all there's left for me to do is not fuck this up royally. Which I probably will do, somehow. Through we go. Oh, 
I forgot that that guy is there. Oh man. Oh no. I got I got to get him. There's no getting past him. Is there? You know what there might be. Hold up. Hold up. I might be able to get past him. Ooh, yeah, I see. There's a little bit of room, a little bit of wiggle room I got there. There we go. See, you, you just keep going. There you go. Mission complete. Put that in your spice pipe and smoke it. I guess, maybe, who knows. Oh shit! Way to hit the wall, Sly. Pretty smooth. Alright, what's our net? Well, I can't even see the next mission from here. So just eke my way on out. There we go. Get to higher ground. Now, ah, oh, shit. Really? You deliberately look this way. Smokescreen. Oh, we got 10 bottles left. That's good. Make sure we get those before we leave this level. Don't look this way. What's in your pockets? Oh shit, that was my fault. Damn it. Smoke screen. Got it. Alright. Where am I going? Rip off the ruby. Oh. That seems easier. It's just right there. How the fuck? Is there a way to get... I gotta go like a long way, right? Or something like that? I can't just like walk up and get it, can I? Here we go. Oh, there's a bottle right there. I want that. Give it to me. you out of my way. Get some health while I'm at it. Alright. Now, yeah, I can't just walk up and grab it. I gotta go, like... Yeah, okay. To get up there. I gotta go over there. I'm doing the... I'm doing the raccoon math in my head right now. To be a trash bandit, I have to think like a trash bandit. Raccoons are so cool. Why did I think that would be a solid, solid object? What the hell is wrong with me? Why do I keep messing this up? Ow! Why do you have drones? Oh shit, I went straight into the thing again. The spotlight. I'm just fucking this up altogether. You know, this is the complete opposite of what I did last time we played Sly Cooper. I was so calm and collected and doing things the cool way, and now I'm just a huge fuck up. Get up the fucking thing, Sly! Now, where is the. There we go. <laughs> Raccoons are cool. I like them. I like him too. Motherfucker. You saw the spin I put on that guy? The fucking spiral? Tom Brady wishes he can do that. 
that's the moment where I will now withdraw from that comment because I know nothing about sports. So don't at me. I gotta go this way. Is there a... How the fuck? Hmm. I went up there before. How did I do it? Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking about this too difficultly. I'm making it way harder than it has to be. Can you... Come on, Sly! I need you. You're supposed to be my support here, buddy. Actually, let me check something real quick. Now that I... Now I'm thinking about it. Ah, yes, I see. Wow. That's... Oh, no, that's a bad thing that just happened there. Oops. <laughs> Oops, that's a goof on my part. Oh, that's going to be embarrassing. Let's try this now. <laughs> Let's try this. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that in sync? Is the audio synced up? <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisy. Is the audio synced up or is it desynced? I was playing the whole the whole time I was playing the audio was desynced. I ain't notice I'm also half deaf. <laughs> I mean, like, you're not the only person who didn't notice. Cause it's like, I'm a I'm a real stickler for audio on this on like shit like this, but um, it's only desynced by like half a second, right? So you won't notice unless like you're really paying attention to it. And that's only because of the capture card I use. I had I had it unsynced because of uh. I watched the PlayStation State of Play earlier, and when I'm going off of the audio on my PC, there's no, uh, I don't need to desync my own audio for that. Excuse me. I had like a little burp there. I don't need to desync my own audio for that. Where the fuck am I going? Hold up. I'm going the complete wrong way, aren't I? Oh no, I'm heading towards the ruby. Never mind, got it. Uh, wait, no, I'm still going the wrong way, right? I gotta go the other way. Is this where I'm going? What the fuck? What am I doing? Yeah, but, um... Whenever I'm playing off of a console, I have to... I have to, uh... Put my own audio to off-sync. Right? By like a second and a half. Well, not a second and a half, because it would be a bigger, but like... By... To be... To be very specific, by 850 milliseconds. Yes, I have did the timing myself. And it was a pain in the ass to figure that out for the longest time. Alright. So I'm jumping on that and to get to... Okay, hold up. What? To get to that... Oh, so I do have to go there. Alright. I was going the right way. <laughs> milliseconds? Yep, milliseconds. Milliseconds. The audio is the hardest thing to do whenever recording shit. Like, people don't really think about it too much, but it's just the most difficult thing to do. Not just with, like, the timing of it all, but also, uh... Also the mic quality, and then you gotta make sure that, um... You gotta make sure that, like, the game's not too quiet or too loud. Which... Which is difficult to do, because not everybody has the same set of speakers. Right? So you gotta listen on it for your- from your, like, default shitty speakers. But then even the default shitty speakers have their own volume compared to what other computers do. 
And some people have speakers through their monitors and all that other bullshit. It's just such a pain in the ass. I'm always like terrified of my audio. Like the visuals, I don't worry about too much because I can fix that in like seconds. Right? With that said, I would love to get a new capture card so that I can record a HDR in 60 frames. That'd be nice. But I'm too broke for that, so. One can keep dreaming. I'm on it. Like, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, the PS4 games that I play. Or where, well, I say a lot of PS4 games. Most games in general, because, you know, most of them are just, like, third parties. But that would benefit a lot, because ever since I... Not to, not to brag or anything, but ever since I got the PS5, I've barely touched the PS4, because there's no reason for me to. The backwards, the backwards compatibility on that is so damn good. And some games utilize the SSD inside of it. So the load times are faster. And then also the PS5 puts like a, uh, it puts like a nice HDR filter on like every goddamn game, even if it doesn't support it. So I can go back, play Kingdom Hearts 2 off the fucking Kingdom Hearts collection and that shit will have HDR on it. And then I can configure that to like whatever HDR that my TV has. Whether I want it to be like, have like cooler colors or like warmer colors. Or to be like... To be more, um, whatchamacallit? To focus more on shadows? Get Murray to- oh, I gotta get Murray to get the ruby. Wait, I gotta get Murray to get the ruby. I got- what? Get Murray to get the ruby. So I gotta head back to the hideout? Usually you don't head back to the hideout. Usually you, like, meet up with them or something, right? That's what I remember anyways. You were supposed to fall. Oh, he went straight in the water. You're not gonna touch me? I don't know what killed that snake. It wasn't me. Get on the mushroom, damn it. Sly? What are you doing, buddy? There we go. Yeah, you can't go back. Where the fuck is Murray? Warning. Where the hell do I go for- Wait, what? Get Murray to get the root- How the fuck do I get Murray? Huh? How do I get Murray to get the ruby? I'm pretty sure Bentley told me how to, but I probably just didn't listen. Can I even climb back up the way I got up there? Oh no, I can't. Oops, I gotta go the long way again. How the fuck? Get Murray to get the ruby. How do I get Murray? You know what, since I'm gonna have to go back up there anyways... How the fuck do I... Where is it? Abandoned job. There we go, yes. Since I'm gonna have to crawl my ass back up there anyways... Might as well do it the... Might as well do it the right way. Alright. No more fucking around for me. We're not gonna be here all night on fucking Rajan's place. That is not what I wanna do. I say as I go the complete wrong way. Alright, Sly. Serious time. Serious mode. Time to become a pro gamer. And get all the gamer fuel sponsorships that you can ever want. Why people like gamer fuel, I don't understand. Is that just fuck is that just fucking crystal light? Is that what that is? I feel like Gamer Fuel is just crystal, uh, crystal light. I wouldn't know because I never had it, but I feel like that's what it is. 
Also, also, I I never want to drink a fucking drink called Gamer Fuel. Like, no offense to anyone who likes it, but come on, man. You might as well just call it Chad Juice. Ugh, only Chad Wellington drinks the finest of the Chad Juice. Freshly squeezed from Chad. Now, you know what game? <laughs> Anything gamer theme is a no go? Yeah, exactly. Only top tier gamers drink gamer juice. All right, Bentley, what the hell I got to do? I wasn't paying attention. Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its mooring... Why is the audio all blown out when they're talking into their fucking binoculars? You hear the static and shit coming off of it, right? Oh, I'm just supposed to break it. Oh! <laughs> and then Murray shows up. Am I the only one? Do, do you guys hear that audio hiccup too? Am I the... Am I the only one who hears that? No, there's like... There's some audio shit going on right now for some reason in the game. What the fuck? Alright, well, after this mission, I'll, I'll save and quit. Maybe that'll fix it. But yeah, the audio sounds like it's being blown out. That's so weird. All right, where the fuck are we going, Murray? How do how am I getting up there? The long way? The long way. It does sound kind of crazy. Yeah, exactly. So after this mission, I'll uh, I'll save and quit the game and then restart it. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know why it sounds like this. Oh god. What happened? Options. Hold up. Maybe we can do it. Nope. It's still terrible. <laughs> Alright. We'll grab the ruby. And then, uh... I'll grab the ruby. We'll make our way downtown. They're replicating the PS2 experience. Murray, you could pick the PS2 was actually pretty good with audio. Because really it was also a makeshift uh, CD player. And DVD player. I love how we were just talking about audio, and then the game decided to just fuck me over with audio. That's wonderful. Wait, am I supposed to jump on it? Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing, Bentley? supposed to what what the fuck <laughs> oh I guess that's just like a safe spot to throw the rubies just in case I need it to all right why the hell is Murray walking like that look at how his feet just kind of stretch out it's so uncomfortable <laughs> God, it looks so uncomfortable. What the hell, Murray? Thanks, Bentley. Oh, 
shitty motherfucker. Why the fuck don't you take it to your buyer? He's your buyer. Oh, come on, Bentley. I need you to put something down for me. Oh, Bentley. Please. Bentley. I need your help, buddy. Bentley. Bentley. Don't leave me. I can't jump, Bentley. Bentley, there's a snake. Bentley, Bentley, I can't jump up there. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. Oh god, listen to that audio, it's so bad. Excuse me? You can break the fucking ruby? Since when was this a thing? Where's my checkpoint, bitch? Yeah, you better checkpoint me. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. What is wrong with me tonight? <laughs> just, just left hook the fucking ruby. Oh man. All right, Bentley. Bentley, come on. Come on, Bentley. You literally just help me, man. I'm a fucking giant purple hippo with a big ass ruby hiding behind a pillar from this fucking monkey or whatever it is. What the hell? Bentley, you're the worst. How did that work? I don't know. Now they're gonna break the ruby. Get away from me. Where's the rest? How the fuck do I even get over there? Bentley, I don't think I can jump that far. Yeah, no, Bentley, that's not happening, buddy. I gotta go the long way. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Bentley. Bentley. Bentley, help. How the fuck? How the hell did you get over there, Bentley? What the fuck? Oh, he jumped up here. Well, let me get rid of these guys first. Alright, good job. You know what I just realized? After we got the game over to- Oh shit. After we got the game over to- <laughs> I was not paying attention. The audio fixed itself. The audio fixed itself. That's great. That's great. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requests it. <laughs> Need someone to love with you on some bullshit? No nonsense type? Alright. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. I love how Rajan's just like raising the roof. This half of the clockwork heart and we're out of here. Alright, so that's the last operation. Who starts it? Sly? Sly starts it, right? You the one starting this operation? No, Murray is. Okay, well, before that, I want to run around and grab uh, the last eight bottles we have to pick up. 
I don't even think I know where the, uh, where the, um, safe is at. Oh, silver medal. Nice, I'll take that. I missed. Oh, shit. I meant to do that. All right. Not a minute of predisposed violence. I conduct the violence in personal and private capacity. I mean... Hmm. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think on that for a moment. I mean, I... I can't... I can't condone run around and starting fights, right? Because that's just not me. But if there's like an actual real reason for it, then I mean, there's a reason for it, right? Let's see. Alright, I need to run around and look for these goddamn bottles. Just like run around and keep my ears open real quick. Oh, here one. Where is it? Is it? It's down here. Yeah, that was good. I'm gonna stay down here, see if I can find any other bottles working about. hurt me all right moving on uh... I need a isn't there a way for me to jump up here what the hell There we go. Oh, that's no fair, man. You were waiting for me. There we go. Oh. Start climbing, Sly. Alright. I need to... Let's see. Star span of inward and the R. Yeah. It's time for writing that, shouldn't I? Yeah, like, yeah, even when, even when I come up, come against something like that, like, cause, you know, quick, like, real talk time, like, like, I know there are some people who, who would, like, kind of look, not look down on me, but be kind of like, uh, like, oh, well, you're not full black because you're only half, right? And whatever. And it doesn't matter. But, like, I've had, had some real actual times in my life where actual 100% racism has been thrown towards my way. Like, three times that I can for sure count. And I don't mean, like, someone did, like, an offhand comment or something. Like, I fully just been, like, uh... I fully just been, like, targeted by it. Uh, not only me, but my mother as well, right? Like, I remember... Not, not to get into too much detail, but I remember one time I completely got denied a job just for being black. And I was really, like, taken back at that moment. I was like, excuse me? I was like, alright, well, you have a good day, ma'am. Same thing with my mom, she's been through that too. Like, she got denied a job just for being black, right? So, at moments like that, we just kind of like, like, yeah, we're thrown back by it and we're offended by it. But at moments like that, like, we just take the higher road and we're just like, well, sorry you feel it that way, right? And then move on with our lives. Now, in your situation with that, 
where someone is starting some shit like that, uh, the first thing I would do is just kind of walk over and be like, Hey man, what's the problem? You okay? Are you having a fun, like, are you having a bad day? Do you need, do you need someone like to talk to or something? Right? And if they're still up to their shit, well then, you know, you kindly, you kindly just go like, well man, listen, don't want to start no trouble, but kind of need you to stop that. That's not really appropriate. And then, you know, at that point, either someone will back down or they will step up and then that's where you fucking teach them. Right? See, the trick is, the trick in that situation is not to make the first move yourself, not to be like, yo, I heard some shit, and then walk up to the dude and deck him while he's not looking. You're, like, the good move, so that you can defend yourself, uh, you know, legally, is to try to either, try to either, uh, bring the tension down and have them storm off like a little bitch that they are, or to rile them up so that they get offended enough to try and do something so that when you completely put their fucking teeth into the dirt that you were in the right the whole entire time right now on the other hand if you are not you know strong or muscular enough for that that's when you just straight up just call the cops you know you're just like don't even like don't even fucking just... If you know you're not gonna be able to take the person down and you see them starting shit, like, don't even, like, come up to them and talk to them. Just call the cops and be like, yeah, there's a disturbance going on. Yeah, there's a guy in here throwing some racial shit down. You need to come here now. Right? That's how I handle those situations. Because there's no reason for someone to be doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely not. That doesn't fly. That doesn't fly good with nobody. Let me see. Yeah, I, um, me personally, I would, you know, try my best not to escalate it any further beyond fist fight, right? Well, you know, not, not escalate it, but give them the option, right? I wouldn't bring any weapons into it, because then that becomes like a whole thing in itself. Especially in my case, because it'd be like, well, he's black! And I'm like, okay. Alright. Oh, man, there's a lot of bottles over here. Oh, I gotta pick that up. That's health. I need that. Here we go. That's mine. There's still bottles over here. Where the fuck is it on the is it on the ground? Is it above me? I think it's above me. Yeah, I think it's above me. I hear the bottle. Let's see. Oh shit. Come on. Oh, you can't grab it. I gotta go the long way back up. How many bottles do I have left? I got two. So there's the one over here that I hear. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Only carry weapons strictly for defense. Yeah. Yeah, definitely in my town because, you know, there'll, there'll be days where I just wake up and then, you know, everyone in my, you know, the ghetto family that I have, they love to gossip. But, you know, I'll just wake up and I hear somebody like, yo, you heard about, uh, you heard about, like, all these ghetto nicknames people have, like, fucking collarbone and shit like that. They're like, 
you know, you heard about so-and-so, you heard they got stabbed up, up in the parkway last night, they're dead now. And it's like, yep, that's why I never go down to that village. Ever. Is that, oh, the bottle's right there. Yeah, I've always I've always lived in a bad neighborhood my whole entire life. You kind of get I hate to say that you kind of get get used to it, but you know that's what it is. Hmm. Like uh, <laughs> yeah, I would have to hide out from a shootout the other night. Oh yeah, oh man, that's common stance over here. Like I like I believe I said this during the uh. The Phoenix Wright stuff, but I talked about, I, I didn't go to too much detail, but I just talked about, like, how someone, like, a whole just, like, a straight up, like, uh, drive-by just happened, sh just happened right in front of my house, and I had to witness that shit, call the cops, all that other bullshit. I talked about that before. What I think what I didn't talk about is that since, you know, I live in the ghetto, and there's the quote-unquote street code. Uh, the answer to this problem is that everybody knew who did who did the drive-by, but nobody is a snee is a quote-unquote snee eye itch, right? And me, I'm just like fuck it, I'm staying out of it. I already, I already been in too many situations where someone had like showed up to my house, and they're like, "Bro, can I duck in here because people are after me?" And I went no and closed the door in their face. Because, fuck you, why are you coming to my house? Other people may be cool with it. Me? I'm not. I'm not gonna have a day where I wake up one day and, uh, open my door and just get shot. Because someone in my extended family actually died that way. Because someone else was fucking around with gangs, and they opened the door one day, and fucking shotgun, bam, over. So, yeah. That's also why when a lot of people ask me, am I, am I a family man? The answer is no, because my family doesn't understand that I don't like you. <laughs> They're all, my family is also the reason why all my PS2 games died, so I'm mad about that still too, you know? That's a grudge as well. Where's that last? I hear it. Arrow. Is it a It's above me, isn't it? You like your family, but part of you wants to move far away? Nah. Part of me wants to be gone. Like, that's why, that's why, like, for some, like, during, ah, oh, fuck, oh, shit. Like, that's why, um, like, during, uh, some of the weeks where I just don't stream, it, the answer is because of them. It's because of them. It's because of the family. They've done something yet again to, to just ruin my mood for the night, and I'm like, I'm not gonna stream. And then when I ever bring it up to them, that's like, hey guys, I'd rather not die before I hit the age of, of 30, right? The answer is always, um, it's always along the lines of, uh, of, but this is your family and you have to understand and get used to how we live our life. And it's like, no, no, I don't. I really don't have to. That's, that's not normal. I don't think people live that way. Where the fuck is this bottle? Where's this last bottle? I hear it over here somewhere. Where are you at, bottle? You should soundproof my room. Yeah, here's the problem. I looked into soundproof in my room, right? That doesn't work because in order to actually soundproof my room, I would have to, like, go into the walls or something like that and put shit in there. Oh my god, how... 
Is it up there? Really? I gotta go the long way? I would have to, like, put shit in the wall to actually soundproof my room. Which, A, that's not... A, I can't do that because, you know, we're renting, so that's not an option. And... And B, that's just too expensive for me. Now, also, there's the sound foam stuff that a lot of people do, you know, content creators and stuff. But, here's the thing with that. Most people who have that don't have to deal with their family members constantly bothering them. Right? Most people who do that are just sound treating a room. Also, those aren't soundproofing anything. They just, they're just like dampeners. Right? And, you know, my ghetto family is far too loud for for those to even remotely work. Trust me, I looked into them. <laughs> I looked into it. Their voices are too loud. And then when I say, hey guys, can we keep it down a little bit? The answer I get back is, how am I supposed to be quiet? This is how I talk. And then I look at them and I say, no, that's not how you talk. I know how you talk. I've lived with you all my life. I know your speaking voice from your shouting voice, and you never use your speaking voice ever for some reason. So I just deal with it, you know. Also, why my time slot my time slots are super late. But I don't know, maybe like uh, in a couple of months or something. I'll get like a new area. It'll all be like quieter. Apparently. And then like in a year and a half, I know, uh, I know, uh, I'm gonna be moving somewhere, so. Now I heard a bottle over here. Where is it? No! Is it below? Is it above? Where? Where's this fucking bottle? I'm gonna go insane looking for this shit. Is it in the... Hey, overly loud environments or people? Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. Uh... Let's see. Was in defense of family. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, really? Oh no. Yeah, no, definitely. That's not, that's not good. Yeah, that's a moment, that's just an honest, if anyone messes with, like, even though my family gets on my fucking nerves, if anyone touches my mother, it's, it's over. There's no, there's no safety for that person. The Mr. Nice Guy routine stops. Now, as for other family members, I can't say the same. Because it's gotten to the point where I'm tired of breaking up fights and I'm like, you know what? You want to get yourself killed? Go ahead, do it. I'm done. How the fuck do I get back up? You know what? I'm going the long way about this. Didn't Bentley fucking blow a hole in the goddamn gateway or some shit? That should still be there, right? Where? Where is the entrance to that damn thing? see try your best to stay out of situations yeah that's me but usually everyone who's part of that situation are never the level-headed person to think about anything so even the people who are trying to calm down a situation are still the people who would rather fight than talk and then me as the only calm one in the area that's when I would have to get involved Right? But due to recent events, I'm finally just gonna take the stance that, eh, next time it breaks out, I'm just gonna watch. Well, I'm not gonna watch, I'm just gonna ignore it. And if someone dies, oh well. <laughs> that was kinda dark there, but you know. You know what I mean. I'm done. I'm done with it. I've been doing this shit since I was like 12. 
I'm done with it. It's not my problem anymore. I'm too, too old for this shit. <laughs> Welcome to Sly Cooper playthrough where we talk about deep, dark family trauma. Where the fuck is the... Is it over... Isn't it over here? There's like a... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Better not get involved. Yeah. That's me. I'll stick to my video games. Sly is a perfect time for trauma talk. There we go. Oh, no. This isn't the right place. Damn it. Where's, uh... It's up there on the fucking rock. Oh, damn it. I'm heading to Rajan's place so that I can uh, find the safe before we do the heist and get his, get the bottle upgrade for that. How'd that guy not see me? I feel kind of bad for doing that to him. You, ah, fuck. Get over there. Of course, there's the one guy just sitting up there. How do I... Do I just jump up there? I don't just jump up there, do I? I do. Move. Hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <clears throat> sometimes, sometimes, sadly, sometimes, honestly, violence is the only way to get to people. Like, I remember uh, recently, my family, like, broke out into a fight and nobody would listen, so I was like, all right. Now's the time where, where, you know, you just gotta start swinging. So someone can actually fucking listen. And then, the moment I started swinging, everyone was like, You know what? Fuck this, I'm out. And I'm like, okay. Sucks that that had to be the, the thing to finally get you to calm the fuck down and walk away. But that's how that, that's how that played out. It was also partially due to that the fact that the people who were arguing were uh, drunk off their asses, so they wouldn't listen to reason, so the only way to get through them was the swing. That was after like that was after like a good a good like fifteen minutes of just trying to de-escalate and people just kept going back, right? Alright. What the fuck did I even get? What is this? Voltage attack. Good job, Sly. You got a fucking ability I'll never use. Just like the confusion attack. Like at that point, you might as well just beat him up. Alright, so let's say we end this, end this level. With that heist. Because we've been in this level for far too fucking long. That's for damn sure. Right. Mary! Buddy! Go start the heist! You beautiful bastard, you. Where the fuck? I have to say... I really, like, if I'm not playing as Sly, I really don't like the layout of this place because it's such a pain in the ass for Murray and Bentley to get anywhere in this level. Really, man? Really? Oh, fuck. I gotta go over the bridge. Can't even, can't even jump from, like, rooftops. Like, Paris was fine. The Paris area was fine. The last area was fine. There was a lot of, 
good places that, you know, they can get to. But it's just difficult for these guys in this whole entire level. Oh, no spotlight, no. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. All right. I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for slot. Check. All right. Wait. Get Murray to the lever on the right, on the right side of the elephants. What? Huh? To the lever of the right. What the fuck? What are you on about? The lever. Oh. I was so goddamn confused. Yeah, I see what you're saying in the chat. I understand. Clear out those guards before you take a crack at opening the mouth. I know, Sly, I know. Wait, am I am I going up here or am I going I'm going over there. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh shit. There's too many of you. Oh, don't knock me off the edge now. Nice work. Now put those muscles to the test and start start mashing these buttons. Oh shit, we're doing this turn shit again. I got you, Murray. Don't worry. Oh, come on. I'm trying to lead the shots. It's not easy to aim with this shit. Oh, look at that good old PS2 popping. I love how instead of sending more guards down there, they're like, nah, man, just blow up the hippo. Just throw all these bombs on him. We'll get him. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> Did it. You're good, Murray. You're safe. Hit buttons fast. Just mash that shit. Yes, the Murray's might and muscle triumphs again. The mouth is open. You're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500. This is the Cherry Bomb 500. I gotta make my way to the to the mouth. I gotta make my way to Murray, don't I? How the fuck? Keep going, man! What are you stopping for? Do front flips? What the hell? You walking out with your neck hanging out like you're Michael from GTA 5. Doing that weird ass walk. Stop it. Fucking snake. Am I going the wrong way? How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Look at this guy. Look at this fucking rhino. You see nothing? I'm on my way, Murray. I'm almost there. You know, Murray, shouldn't you be like... Trying to defend me or something? You're kind of just standing there, buddy. You're not really doing much. You're just flexing.
did it. I'm here. I guess I'm blowing up this. And then they died. The end. He's like, oh man, they blew up the fucking cess tank. What the hell? Black clouds and thunderbolts, my spice temple, ruined. I will no longer hide what <laughs> You're not over that the bucket works as a disguise. Yeah. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come face me, Cooper. With clockwork. Alright, alright, Mufasa, I get it. Long live the king. When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Hi, Neela. Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the... Oh, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of salt and pepper. And the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. All right, Neela, Jesus. I just completely fucked that up. What? Come on, Sly. Do the thing. Do the jump. Look cool. Stop making me look like a fool. Ah! How the hell was I supposed to know that one was gonna get struck? Alright, give me some fucking signs, man. Neela, if you're up there, why don't you just smack the staff out of his hand? Oh, shit! Come on! Alright, see, now that, you're, you're just goofing. You're on your Mickey Mouse bullshit right now. That's what's happening. That's what we're doing. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna shoot the lightning? You're just gonna you're just gonna be a jackass and stare at me. Okay. He's going to the left. He's going down the middle. He's going to the right. Alright, Neela, I'm here. Neela, now! Sorry. What are you doing? He said, what are you doing? Hey, I'm coming, buddy. This is it. This is the Kluber gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. Oh, no, you I didn't. I be big and not as smart as the other guys. But one thing I'm not is weak. Get him, Murray. Fuck him up. This is gonna be a long ass fight. It takes forever to get this guy's health down. That's like the one thing that like the Sly Cooper games kinda did wrong over the years. Is with the boss fights, they give the boss way too much fucking health. Uh oh. Ah, fuck. Get my health. Trying to push him into electricity. Get a little bit of damage off. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Can one of y'all give me health, please? <laughs> Someone? Damn it. I gotta be on the lily pads for that. Damn it! Oh, that's health. I need that. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. Really? Oh my god, he slid into me. That's some bullshit. <laughs> god damn it. Just gotta whittle, whittle him down. There we go. Oh, shit. Come on, man. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for him to do his electricity bullshit. Did it. He's down. Didn't even get hit that time. I'm the best. I'm amazing. I'm great. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Look how happy he is. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder. Sly's hurt real bad. Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt. There they are, Contessa, just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Mila. Carmelita has never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita? Except your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Liar, Nila. How dare you? This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper. Oh, oh come on! Wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. Constable was there the whole entire time. 
men. Place Inspector Fox under arrest. This sly drama is killing me. She's like, yes, I double-crossed you. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it. Thanks for the no-help, Bentley. You could have shot some darts or something. You know, you can just you have sleep darts, Bentley. You can just shoot them right now, all three of them. betrayed us my teammates were captured and i was all alone while intellectually inferior sly and murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest the what the fuck was that dig about bentley he said while they're both so stupid i guess they were cool my sense of isolation grew Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. Stalling the shit out of the van. I try to learn to drive stick shift before I give up. I was like, fuck this. If I get on the road and I fuck this up somehow, I'm gonna crash this fucking car. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be over with. Huh. Alright. Without further ado, let's head into episode four. And I highly doubt that we're gonna finish it in time, but eh, why not? Crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Bentley saves the gang in jailbreak. I like Bentley. He's cool. He's the nerdy. He's the nerd, but he's cool. Now, it really sucks is that without Sly, we're not going to be able to do all our parkour and shit. <laughs> uh, friend put me in a stick shift, and I believe that I was great at driving. It was the second car you ever drove in. So, you know how to drive stick shift. See, the first car that I got into was a stick shift because they asked me. Uh, one of my friends who was teaching me how to drive, he asked me. Do I want to learn how to drive a stick shift? And I said, sure, give me hard mode first, because once I do that, I'll be good with the other cars. And then as I was doing it, I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. This is just bullshit. There's no reason for it. I, I was like, is there any moment where I would probably need this? And he's like, no, most cars are automatic. And I was like, so what's the point of learning stick shift? He's like, eh, it's just to be like more intimate with the car. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about a car. Like, no offense, right? I'm not a car guy. I don't care. You can't, you can't ask me what part of a car is what I can't tell you what the fuck I can tell you what a muffler is I guess but if you put me in a car and you're like hey man isn't this baby beautiful I'm like yeah I press the gra I press the gas it goes room room and then uh 
And yeah, the car drives, and it goes in reverse, and it does all that stuff. Adrenaline burst, a thousand. Oh man, I want that. <laughs> all right, Bentley. Now, I will say 100% Prague. Uh, Prague is one of my favorite locations in Sly Cooper. I just like the use of color in here. It's gothic, but it's not like. It's not. It's colorful, but it's not as dark as like uh, like Batman's uh, animated Gothic uh, Gotham City. You know, not animated series. Uh, the two thousand and three three one, the one where like Joker's a Rastafarian for some reason. He has like a deep ass voice. I like that version of Joker too. It's cool. It's kind of cool. All right. So Bentley, where the hell are we going? What are we doing? Since we can't steal shit. Where is your... Where is your... Fu where? Oh. Up there. How the hell am I gonna... How am I gonna get up there? Oh, shit. Here you go. Here's a present for you. Alright. There you go. Oh! I forgot the statues come to life. Oh no! Oh, and there's tanks! I forgot about that too! Bomb! Yeah. Follow me, boys! Kaboom! Oh shit. Oh no. I'm getting comboed over here. Eh. Eh. Why does Tank keep coming this way? Stop it. Oh shit. There's too many of you. Out of here. If I was sly, this wouldn't be- Oh my god. Oh my god. Why does the world hate me? Ow. I'm gonna die. Bentley the Brave. Where the fuck do I go from here? Up here. Alright. Now I got some breathing room. Where the hell are we going, Bentley? <laughs> I'm supposed to be heading, uh... Huh. Cool. I'm supposed to be heading towards the jail. Where's the main road that leads to that? There's the train. There's no reason for me to go... Through there. Does this lead? Who does this? I think... Oh! This is where the safe is at. I will remember that. I will remember this is where the safe is at. For this level. Got it. Good thing I peeked my little turtleneck in there. Alright. I don't think Bentley can get in here, can he? Oh, he can! Oh, hell yeah! Let's go, Bentley. Oh, but he can't move. Damn it. Oh! Oh shit. Nope. You see nothing. Nope. Ow. I'm dead. You would have hit a guy with glasses, would you? Alright. Oh, fucking, there's the, sp there's the spotlight. I just need. You know what? Hide under here. Wait for you to go by. There you go. 
I'm just gonna have to run myself across here because the gargoyles are gonna come to life, right? Unless I walk my way past? Now, I don't know which direction you're gonna turn around. So... Is that guy awake? Go to sleep. I shot you to sleep, Dart. You're supposed to be sleeping. Stop it. Did I just go through the front gate? I highly doubt that, but oh shit. Oh no, I can't swim. Bentley, how the fuck do we get in there? Why is it so difficult to move around when you're not sly? Curse my tiny baby turtle legs. Now, where am I? I gotta go up there, but... The hell? Bentley, how the fuck do I get up there? I highly doubt that I go through the front gate. Yeah, you don't go through the front gate. That's not gonna that's not gonna work. That's not gonna fly. Guess I'll try and go the other way. See what's that way. trying to remember if there was like a cave entrance or something I had to go into. It's been such a long time since I played this shit. Do I go in through the... Huh. I don't go in through the, through the subway, do I? I don't think I do, at least. No, there's like a... I remember the... I remember there being like a like an entry point somewhere. I think it was on the other side, actually, that I think about it. Let's see. Can't hack that. Run your little legs, Bentley. You can do it. Hurry before the train comes. That won't hit me. I'm good. Yeah. Alright, so... How the fuck... Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. Spotlights and shit. Oh, Sly, how I miss you and your moveset. How you can just climb up shit. Do I go in through the... No, I don't. I don't go in through the boatway, do I? No, that's for Sly later on. Maybe I do just go in through the front door. Ow! That was not fun, that, that hurt. That was the opposite of fun. I didn't like it very much. Maybe I do just like waltzing through the front. I don't remember it being that way, but... Looks like it's my only option, right? Do I just like bomb the gate open? Is that a thing that works? Can I do that? Uh-oh. That was a stupid idea. That was terrible. I will do that for you. My buddy. My best friend. My pal.
Here we go. All right. Is there not a, uh... Hmm. Nope, I guess I don't go this way. Where the f... What the hell? I really don't remember. I don't think I bum bump through the gate. No, I don't. What the fuck? Ow. Maybe there's like a crawl space or something I gotta go I gotta go in. I'll give it another like look over and if I can't figure it out, I guess I'll just look it up. Oh, I gotta go up there. Oh. See, the angle I kept looking at the waypoint on made it look like it was inside the fucking... the prison building. And I was confused as hell, because I don't remember Bentley going into the prison building, like, as the first thing he did. Oh, come on, Bentley. There we go. Oh, really? Come on, I wasn't even running. I was walking. You guys aren't supposed to wake up. Ow. Yep, that was a stupid idea of me. Alright. So it is up here. I just gotta get on the... on the rooftop. Oh, shit. Yep, no, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Ah! There we go. Oh, go ahead. If you're getting tired, go ahead and go to sleep. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Sorry that, uh, sorry that we got a little bit on like a dark topic tonight, <laughs> with the good old Sly Cooper and the traumatic experiences. Here we go, Bentley. Now you're doing it. Good job, buddy. Contessa is out making her rounds. You love dark talk sometimes. The Me too. On my sleep darts vibrate near sound. Life can't be fun if it's all fun and games. Position on top of this parabolic dish. Life can't be fun if it's all fun. Did I just say that? <laughs> this is great. All right, night man. See you when I see you. With my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Alright, so now I gotta... Oh, well, there she is. Oh, shit. I'll get you. There you are. The claw gang is falling apart. Spy shipments have almost stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, this is my way soon enough. <laughs> Those fools at Interpol, they keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. You know, I find it funny how the Contessa is not able to just see Bentley's giant turtle shell just right below her. Like, how do you not see me? That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. Ah, uh, joke's on you, Contessa. We're constantly broke. You get no money from me. Oh, shit. That's Sly Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there, 
week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll Do people really just walk around talking out loud to themselves about their plans? Is that a thing? She's no healthcare professional. Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of. Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they stand. I love how Bentley's just <laughs> Bentley's just like screaming this to the heavens as the contestants just like walking behind him nonchalantly. I should get to work and figure out a way to break fly out of the hole. All right, Bentley, what we got? Train hack. Let's do it. Sounds like a plan. You, I need you to stay put. I hate this bridge. I hate this bridge so much. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. Ah! Damn, Bentley, why are you so frail, buddy? You have a whole shell on your back. Shouldn't you be more defensive? That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity. Thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape. What the fuck was that noise? Oh shit. Ooh. Now <laughs> I was not paying attention. I heard like a noise. It distracted me. Here we go with his fucking hack mini games. I'm trying to remember which uh which Bentley hacking games it was that I didn't like. Remember he had like one very uh Oh no, it wasn't yeah, no, never mind. I'm thinking about Sly One. Yeah, Sly One was the was the hacking mini games that I really didn't like because it was very like basic. And that wasn't the problem. The problem was that it was kind of difficult to do. Like one hit you would be fucked. Or something like that. Like, it was really ridiculous. Alright, so... There's six terminals. Got it. I think it was Sly 1, right? Like, it rarely happened, but you did hack with Bentley from time to time. Oh, I have a whole, I have a whole fucking health bar. I'm treating it like it's Sly 1. Forget about this. Fuck you guys. I don't need to fight you. <laughs> I just go through. Wasting time. What am I doing? Here we go. It's not a terminal. Oh, this one I have to get through, though. There we go, almost through. Come on. Two more. Two more, Bentley. There we go. Good job. speed up the train by at least 50%. Yes, half of six is three, thus making it 50%. Math is math, and math is good. That's why we keep you around, Bentley. <laughs> now nah, we love Bentley. We keep him around because he's so snarky. 
Is that the only term? Bullshit. <sighs> Damn it. I should have went the other... Can I not activate this terminal? What the hell? Alright, well, I'll just... Oh, there's one over here. Okay. There you go. Oh, this one's a little bit more difficult. Alright. We'll just get rid of these guys, because these are mainstays. Oh, fuck. Yep. It's a lot of damage. Come on, come on. Come on. Did I get hit by that? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get over Ram. Got that one. I'm not really that good at shoot 'em ups. Alright. Oh, come on, Bentley. Get in there. There you go. Just two more terminals. Oh, now the next one's over there. Alright. So I just... Mmm! That was smart. That was a real smart move for me to do there. I'll just wait for the train to go by. Alright. Now I can activate this one. I thought you can just do them in any order. Oh, the yellow ones are yellow ones are bad. They're stronger. And I suck at these mini games. Oh, they keep respawning too. Hurry up, Bentley. You can do it. Shoot the firewall. Get in there, buddy. Good job, Bentley. I know you can do it. That's why I love you. At full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. All right. Wait, I gotta unlock that one first. All right, got it. There. Oh shit. I saw them come in, but for some reason I just didn't turn around. I don't know why I didn't do it. Alright, so... Get out of my way. Unlock. There's another one down here. There we go. There we go. That one wasn't bad. That one was kind of nice. Good job, Bentley. You did it. I also, I just realized that in the results screen for for when uh, Bentley does his job well done, his shell is purple. But in the game, it's all blue. Oh, shit. Go the other way, Bentley. All right, so we... Oh, fuck. All right. So we made a dent in the prince in the prison. There we go. Over here. There we go. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Uh, not the chopper again. It shouldn't be that hard. Compared to... Never mind. I'm already getting blown up. What am I doing? I'm taking out the relays? And I'm missing too. Oh wait, no, I'm taking out the- okay, I thought I was taking out the, uh, antennas. Taking out these guys. 
Got it. They are really fucking me up. I'm gonna ruin this. Uh oh. God, it's so difficult to dodge their fire. The missiles, not so much. Missiles are pretty easy to dodge. You just gotta give them a good old little turn. I might have to do this again. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Now, where's the last guy? Where is the last guy? Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, Sly, how I missed you and your great moveset. How I love you so much. Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to All right, Bentley. I know what the I know how to do my fucking spire jumps. I've been doing it the whole game. Has been that long. We'll rendezvous there. Wow. You've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah. You do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, wow. You know the old saying you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail. What kind of a friend are they? Truer words. I'm not sure about that one. Said, wizard. <laughs> wizard. <laughs> wizard. <laughs> That's a nice callback to the first. Oh shit! All right, get me the hell out of here. All right. I love how Bentley literally just told me how to get out of here, and I just didn't pay attention. All right. We're free. Where am I going, Bentley? Am I heading back to the hideout? Guess I'm heading back to the hideout. There we go. I'm free! I can be stealthy again! And I can steal your shit again. Come here, buddy. What do you got in those pockets? Ooh, silver pocket watch. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Uh oh. Look at that. That was quick. That quick dodge I did to the side? That was hot. I like that. That was nice. That was smooth. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. Oh, no, really, Sly? I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It's like, no, really, Sly. I know, I know my name's Bentley, and I wear glasses, and I'm a nerd, I'm into conspiracy theories and shit, but she has a robot. Oh, that's not a water tower, that's a robot. Look at that. It's a giant iron spider. <laughs> and not the one that you see in Marvel, in Marvel comics and movies. Oh, no. That's the real deal. All right, let's see what we got to sell on ThiefNet. Probably not that much. Only that watch, right? Yep. I gotta save up to get Bentley's adrenaline burst. Atlas strength. You can jump while carrying. Some okay, cool. I need that. That's gonna be important for Murray. All right. Sly, what are you up to? Oh, you got a bunch of missions. Oh, I love you. I love you so much, Sly. You're the best. Look at him posing on the world. Alright, well, I would love to start these missions now, but unfortunately, we have ran on, we have, uh, come up on our time to end the stream, sadly. I really do want to do these two, I love Prague, it's my favorite level, even though I just spent like a good minute running around getting blown up as Bentley, but I still love it. It's a hate-love relationship. But, yep. Unfortunately, this time around with Sly Cooper, we only managed to beat Rajan's, uh, 
like second episode, you know, so the third episode. So that sucks. I planned on beating both of them, but for some reason the goofiness in me just wouldn't stop tonight and I kept dying and shit. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, oh shit, fuck. <laughs> I want it to look stylish. All right, so that's gonna be it for Sly Cooper tonight. As for the streams and stuff, you know, started like an hour early so we can look at the PlayStation State of Play and shit, and that was fun. That was a fun, nice little distraction for a bit. And then we did Sly and yeah, we're all good. Look at this guy creeping on me. He tried the style on me. I couldn't appreciate that. All right. Oh, damn it. I'm still playing this fucking game, even though I'm supposed to be in the stream. All right, cool. We're done. We're done, everyone. We're done. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> so, let me save and quit. Now, as always, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who came and decided to watch the stream tonight. It means a lot to me that you just show up and stuff like that. So, thank you very much. Um, for those who are watching this on the VOD later, I thank you as well. I look forward to, uh, seeing you guys, uh, live, you know, in the chat and stuff, if you ever do decide to do that. And then for people on YouTube, thank you for watching as well. You help, like, even though you don't watch live, you still help out a lot. So don't think that you don't. Because it does. Every, every little bit helps. So, that's going to be it for tonight. I'm tired, I'm gonna go sleep, and probably do some adult things tomorrow. And then our next stream won't be until the scheduled time. Well, let me take that back real quick. Let me, let me take that back real quick. Um, I did say this like, I think last month or something like that, but because of, uh, because of the COVID times, I'm gonna be probably taking on some extra shifts at work so if i don't do a stream on the scheduled time i will figure something out but not everything is set in stone yet but at this point in time let's just pretend like none of that will affect anything and the next stream time is the same thing scheduled. we'll be playing conception next time i stream heading back to that actually making some progress probably be like a boss and then uh hang out with all the nice little waifus that we have well let's not say little waifus oh, let's take that back the nice waifus that we have you know stare at some anime titties together because let's be honest who doesn't like anime titties we all love anime titties i love them you love them he she we me love them right so that's it for tonight i have no other announcements to make so as always once again I would like to say thank you to everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.